Marketing expert Amanda Brickman hosts Small Business Revolution Main Street on Hulu and Deluxe.com. This season, she's joined by renovation icon Ty Pennington as they travel to Alton, Illinois to give the small town the makeover of a lifetime. Let's take a look at season three, which premieres today. The Small Business Revolution Main Street is back. Join marketing expert Amanda Brinkman for a new season in a new town. We do this because we truly feel like you are the heroes in this country. And this season, she's joined by a new co-host, renovation icon Ty Pennington. This is a huge challenge. We're taking on literally an entire town. Thousands of towns across the country applied for a half million dollar Main Street revitalization and America voted for one winner, Alton, Illinois. This is the beginning of the revolution and the evolution of Alton. Everyone, please give a warm Bill Bunch welcome to Amanda Brickman and Ty Pennington. Woo! Love the enthusiasm, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Um, we often hear small businesses are the backbone of this country, and especially right now in election year, we're hearing that a lot. So I love what the show is trying to do. With Alton, it is three times larger than any other town you've done in the previous two seasons. So what other surprises, teases you can give us about season three? So season three is incredible. It's in Alton, Illinois, as you mentioned. So much better than the other season. <laughs> He just says that because this is his first right. time on the show, which is true. You add a yeah, lot yeah, of character yeah. and heart to it. For we sure. really upped it. We amped it up quite a bit. Yeah. So it's interesting because Alton kind of grew up through annexation. So there were like three or four different towns that came together mm -hmm. to create Alton over the years. And so it was really interesting to see how there were different main streets in different parts of town. And there was a little bit of kind of self-segregation happening in the town, even though Alton has always been on the right side mm -hmm. of especially racial integration. Um, but it was interesting to see how this process process really brought everyone to the table and it made sure that everyone had an equal voice at the table and started some really important conversations within the community about unity. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was interesting now that there's some history there too and there's a lot of ghosts and all of the above but what was really amazing is that we really, you know, bringing a community together to work on a community, um, it, it's awesome to see because everybody wins and when you leave town they actually want to do more uh, together and that's some, with some of my experience and other shows that I've done, that's what really drew me to this whole project. Yeah, what I was so impressed watching the first episode is Alton is so diverse in its people yeah. and its businesses, and you kind of abandon your mile radius rule. Usually within yeah. Main Street, you have to keep it, the business within a mile, but because Alton's so big and so diverse, you kind of had to expand it. And I got stressed that when you guys had to decide which businesses <laughs> to pick. So what was that like, and what, what did it come down it's to? It's incredibly ultimately? difficult, yeah. because we could make, each season we could make a 200 episode season, because there's so many incredible small businesses yeah. in these communities, and we would love to tell each of their stories. So um, each season, the businesses, once the town has, has been voted in, the uh, businesses within the town apply to be on the show, and then we narrow it down to about 12 to 20 that we meet with in person, and they come into a room like this, and they pitch about their business, and it's very hard to choose, because all of their stories are deservingly, are deserving to be told, and um, they're unique, and uh, so it's always, that's the hardest part, is you feel like uh, you want to so pick wet everyone. Wet soapy dogs always win, so you know, you're like, so yes. So Shampooches was an automatic <laughs> right. for him, that's a dog group right, yeah, yeah. that we featured this year. And Ty, you are like an icon in this business, this industry with these makeover TV shows, so what, what, why do you want to do this? What made you like say, I'm going to do this show now? Well, honestly, uh, I was sort of upset when I found out that I hadn't been involved before. <laughs> I'm like, you were insulted. Like I mean, that's <laughs> sort of my thing. Yeah. He kept well, like messaging me on Twitter, like, "What the yeah, hell?" Why? <laughs> yeah, why? Uh, no, I, it's exactly the kind of thing I, um, I love doing. I mean, with Extreme, like. Honestly, you know, I, I can't talk about it or, or emphasize enough the feeling it is, what it's like when you've got an entire community that has come together to really rally everyone to really work toward one goal, which is helping this one family, mm -hmm. you know, sort of turn the next page in their life. And, 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 and a house was it, building a house in seven days. But what's really amazing about this particular project is that you're not just doing one family, you're doing so many different businesses. And those businesses are families. Those are, the reason they're having a family, uh, a business like that is because they're trying to get braces for their kids. They're trying to, mm -hmm. uh, to, to succeed. And, and, and honestly, like the, the power of knowing that um, you're taking like the personality of a town, because even when I was doing Extreme, I stayed in these small towns across America. And I was like, dude, that's, that's a really cool place. I would have never known that was here if I wasn't forced to go through there. But um, I think that's what's important about this is you really showcase how original, how unique, and sometimes um, how fun a small town that's off the major highway that you would never take a right and get off that exit right. is unless you saw it on uh, this show. Uh, and uh, not only that, but um, 
like if we don't save that, if we don't find a way to like help those businesses, then we really don't have too much of a future because <laughs> yeah. that's that's it. That's where that's where we live. So I think you are shining a lot on really important issues. And Amanda, is that what you think keeps the show coming back? Because you've been a part of it for the whole the whole ride. Yeah, I mean, the, the show was started because we really wanted to shine a spotlight on the importance of supporting small businesses within our communities. Mm -hmm. And we just continue to find all these incredible towns with these beautiful small businesses. And what we're trying to really prove through the thesis of the show is that small businesses are so vital to our communities and to our neighborhoods that uh, if you have a successful small business core, an entire town can thrive, and we were putting that on the shoulders of the small businesses, and so it's very rewarding, and um, personally, I feel very fulfilled and blessed that, that we get to spend our time helping these business owners realize their dreams. I mean, I think a lot of times in this country, we focus on entrepreneurs who are trying to come up with that next big mm -hmm. idea, or that new app that's going to be the multi-million dollar idea, and, and those entrepreneurs exist, and those businesses exist, but the average small business in this country is the local barber shop or the baker or a restaurant or and and so to be able to go in and help those people you know serve their community and feel fulfilled and provide for their families through it is an incredible uh, journey to and the sense of pride that you you have I think people that are from a small town you know it's like that that high school pride that that when they find out they're being nominated they go nuts yeah. you know and it's like and, and I think there's something really awesome about that everybody's high-fiving you they're like are you gonna be at this event you're gonna be there and so you get connected to that that town that becomes your town for just a moment so yeah it's a, it's an awesome experience. That's so nice. Are there any uh, success stories that come to mind or particularly stand out to you over the course of the show? Absolutely. So over the course of like season one and season two, we've now worked with 12 businesses. Now with season three launching mm -hmm. today, there'll be 18. Um, but each year we go back and film a return to episode a year later to check in on the businesses. And in season two, um, they're, all 12 of the businesses are doing incredibly well. But Annabella's is a, this great Italian restaurant yeah. run by this beautiful couple that are so in love, Bob and Allison. Um, and their sales have doubled wow. since we worked with them. Um, which is, that is a huge deal That's for awesome. a small That's business. Amazing, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we worked with this incredible child care uh, center called Discover, Learn, and Grow, ran by a mother and a son, Ramona and Marcellus. And uh, they had their price point so low because they wanted to provide that kind of education to everyone within the community. They wanted that not to be a barrier. Um, but they were only at a third of their capacity. And we helped them realize that even if they were at full capacity, they wouldn't be making enough to provide themselves with a livable wage. Um, and so we worked with them on a, a number of different things to adjust that. And now they're not only at capacity, they're opening a second location. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 <laughs> their whole mission in life is to provide this level of education to everyone within the community. And those early years are so important. So that's what you see through it is like yeah. through helping their business, the ripple effect. Think about all those kids whose lives are going to be yeah. different now as a result. Yeah, I wish I had learned when I was young. It would have been <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Ty. Me too. Uh, what are some uh, tips you might have for entrepreneurs who want to start their own business? I mean, you guys have seen all sorts of businesses. Yeah, I think first of all, it's about kind of starting small, like really not trying to boil the ocean, as we say. Like, <laughs> what is your idea? What can you afford now? What kind of capital do you have access to to start your idea? And then really determine how do you reiterate that? How do you have different goals you know, at, that, at different revenue levels or different year marks? Um, and then really continuing to listen to your customer base. So you or I might have an idea about a business we want to start, and then the customers that we're going to serve might have a different idea of how they would use that product or service. So right. always iterating. Uh, and, and be then, smart. You know, don't sell dog sweaters in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good tip. Damn it. Yeah, and then, and then really thinking about when you're an entrepreneur. I'm so glad he joined the show. <laughs> I, 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 he has this kind of like pointing advice you. all the time. You I'm just want to say thank you so much. I didn't know that. This uh, is the genius that I bring to the table. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Um, but then also like thinking about like you can't wear all the hats like it yeah. when you're a business owner like you if you have a brick and mortar store, you are cleaning the toilets you are doing the accounting you're doing the marketing you're running the actual bit you're doing everything and so it's really important early on to uh, really um, uh, delegate some of that and figure out what am I most uniquely suited to do to grow my business where is my time best spent and then outsource the rest right. figure out someone else to help you with your marketing like we do at deluxe or or figure out someone else to help you with your finance you know figure out what you are uniquely serve to do within your business. Well, it's the owner of Love It, that, that restaurant. Mm -hmm. He was literally cleaning, serving, ordering, delivering, doing, I'm like, he's like, uh, what? Just running around the whole city delivering his food? I mean, I don't, 
know how he did that, um, but right. exactly, like you have to kind of- Not sustainable, get, yeah. Not sustainable. Right. And I don't know if you've ever had snoot before, but it's actually delicious. <laughs> yeah, what is snoot? That, we, don't, we don't We don't ask, we just know it's good. It's actually, yeah. you wanna know? It's actually like the, 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 this part of the nose of a pig. So, oh, yeah. Cool. And that's actually the origin of soul food. <laughs> it is, I'm you didn't know, did that? know that? Oh, I'm from the South, I know exactly oh, what it is. Like, but just your description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes it that is called the, the snout. <laughs> that is the snout, that's what that is. It's very good. AKA the face. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what's so what was so cool in the Lovitz episode. There's this great soul food restaurant in Upper Alton. But like that's the or origin of soul food is right. kind of taking the scraps and totally. making something incredible out of it. Yes. And that is coming through in their menu and in the way you feel when you're in there. I mean, soul food is meant to feel like family. I feel and like we're so gonna cook something now. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It should have been a cooking demonstration. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Ty, is there anything you can tell us about the 2019 season of Trading Spaces? Yes. It's uh it's fun. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I love that show just because, um, well, one, it's where I got my start, but also they brought back all the OGs, all the, my mm -hmm. sort of my original family and everyone. That really is a variety pack of personality and style and design taste. Uh, it's also got a whole bunch of crazy in it, which uh, I'm drawn to clearly. <laughs> uh, but I'm designing a bunch of rooms too in the show, and uh, we've already shot a bunch on uh, season two. Um, and it was fun because, uh, well, I, I won't say too much, but um, I brought a couple of wild elements in, which are really kind of fantastic because that's what you want to see when you walk into your bedroom is a bunch of, mm -hmm. you know, wild animals. So, uh, <laughs> but no, it's, uh, it, it's, it's been awesome. We're shooting some great episodes. Um, so I'm having fun doing that. But, uh, you know, that's a, that's a makeover you can do in like three days. Right. But something really big that you make over a town is uh, a completely different experience. But um, I love having fun, you know. Um, Every time I'm doing some type of makeover show, it's just sort of my thing. Yeah, you know? yeah, having fun. It looks like you ne you're never not having fun. <laughs> well, there are times, but let's <laughs> let's hope there are not many. Um, yeah. But no, it's it's been awesome. We have a great crew there too, um, and and you guys have got a great crew. And I don't know if you guys have seen the way it's shot, but it really looks good. It's really so well like, done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How how was it really working together? Be honest. Come on, you have to share your show now. He's you have to be a co-host. Well, <laughs> well, it's funny, like. Um, we, I guess we weren't really sure how we were gonna get along, but we got along like right off the bat pretty well. Um, <laughs> sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I and, was uh, sure we were gonna get along. You weren't sure. She's well, like, I, I didn't know. know. I didn't know. <laughs> well, I mean, here's, here's the other smart thing about her. So they bring in, they bring in all these business experts, and guess who she, she brings in an all-female cast. Love because it. who knows how to organize the women. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's, it, it's awesome. There's no sexism there at all. But, um, but uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> But no, it was great. In fact, I got to 10 bar at the um, Irish pub for a while. Mm -hmm. Sales went up really, well, they probably lost money that night, but then again, <laughs> that's, that's why I'm not a bartender. That is yeah. true. You would really uh, tank the profitability yeah, of yeah, any yeah. bar. Right. Um, no, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, this really is a makeover show with heart, mm -hmm. and Ty brings that in spades. I mean, he really connects with the people and, and cares. And, and we started this show because we genuinely and authentically want to help every small business that we possibly can. And so to find a co-host that believes in that as authentically and genuinely as I do is, is huge. You know, it, it's not about the show, it's truly about creating a movement around it. We do the show because we wanna inspire people to support small businesses and to hear those stories. I mean, you hear the stories in, in some of our episodes about how little these businesses make. Right. And as the average consumer, we don't think about that when we're walking past a shop and we go right to a big box. Or, and when you hear that, it makes you take it a little bit more seriously about how what a difference you can make mm -hmm. in helping people provide for their families. And, and, and also, there's so many things out there. Like, people can write a check to something and think that it's going to fix it, you know? But that's not... That's not the kind of thing this show is. It's, it's, your town has won a check for five. And this is people really rolling up their sleeves and making a difference. And like that's why it's such an awesome show. Yeah. Well, yeah. I love that. I really love everything this show stands for. Amanda Ty, thank you so, so much for being here. Really, this was such a treat. I really love it. Thanks for having us. Thank you.